It is a reality that residents of Embolon Village, West Pokot County, are still coming to terms with. Fresh tension has emerged in the area. A 20-year-old herdsman who was on patrol guarding his livestock was shot several times by suspected Turkana raiders who were said to have been planning an attack on the village. Residents say that the bandits who were disguised in Kenya police reservist uniforms managed to escape with 200 herds of cattle. So I want to tell the government that uh, why don't you come in and make sure that you have come and help us. The area chief Joseph Korikumul says Lengole was rushed to Takwell dispensary where he received first aid before being transferred to Kapenguria for further treatment. Korikumul has further asked the government to set up two anti-stock theft or general service unit camps at Takaiwa and Obolion to help curb the increased cases of insecurity. Meanwhile, police investigations continue in a bid to unravel the grim misery behind the brutal act. <laughs> In a similar incident, tension has emerged in Loki's area in East Pokot, Baringo County, after armed suspected Turkana raiders invaded the area and fled with 252 goats from a teenage herder who was abducted for a few hours and later found in the bushes. The raiders are believed to be from Lokori area in Turkana East, in the neighboring Turkana County, and according to locals, they are taking advantage of the ongoing KDF operations to steal from the area being combed by the security personnel. Recently, the raiders also attacked the area stealing 425 goats from three pastoralists. The Suguta Valley has witnessed rising cases of cattle wrestling, which has also left behind a trail of blood, deaths, and misery in Baringo, West Pokot, Turkana, and Samburu counties. Baruk Molimu, Citizen Live at One.